This is a sure resonant slide rule. I've seen some that were made in the 40s. I'm not quite sure when they started producing these. But this one has a date on it of a copyright date of 1957. Here I'm opening up the brochure on this which also has the instructions. And of course it has advertisements about their very fine products. It's also important to know how to fold a map which is not that important nowadays. And here's the slide rule. And you can see why it's called a slide rule. There's lots and lots of numbers and part of those numbers slide. This is the paper container for the Sure slide rule. And inside this container we have the instructions. This is the, of course, the front side and this is the back side. Now here I've got three advertisements on one page here just to save space. And of course here's our information about the company and about uh, their research and development and engineering. advertising their fine cartridges. Now here are the instructions of the slide rule. And if you want to, you can go through and find out how to use this slide rule. That's a very nice idea, having practical problems, in other words, real world problems, and having the solution using the slide rule, telling you how to use the slide rule to solve the problems. This is one side of the slide rule, and as you can see, it's for resonant frequency problems. And here's the other side of the slide rule. Now I'm going to do a simple demo of uh, capacitive reactants. And what you need to do is whatever frequency you want that's on the slide rule, you move these arrows to that frequency. And I'm going to move it over to the right to... 2,000 Hertz, which I've done here. Now for the capacitive reactants, I'm just going to choose a capacity of microfarads of dot zero 05. And I could pick any of those that are up there. I'm just going to choose this one as an example. And here's a much closer look at that part of the slide rule. Now the answer of this, in other words, how many ohms at 2000 frequency, 2000 hertz frequency, and a dot zero five microfarad capacitor. Well, it's read just below on the H scale. And you can see the 1000 and then the halfway mark, so that would be 1500. But it doesn't quite get to 1600. So that would be 1580 or 90 
somewhere in there. Well, of course, nowadays you go to the web and there's all kinds of calculators out there, which I did. And here is the answer. And as you can see, it's very accurate. So, of course, that's why you don't see slide rules today because we have calculators, computers, and there's calculators on the web. But still, back in the 50s, this was a very useful tool, and I remember them well. Thanks for watching.